Hey guys, it's Lindsay. So today I'm going to be doing a current favorites video. I haven't filmed one since December. This is going to be kind of like my January and February favorites, kind of mixed in together. So let's get into the current favorites. Okay. Now, if you've been following my channel for the past month, you know that I've been making a lot more videos recently and including a lot of new products, especially from the drugstore. So I've really been trying a lot of drugstore items recently, and I will leave all those videos in the down bar below if you're interested. But the drugstore has really kind of taken me away this past couple of months. But the first thing I did want to mention that is not drugstore is my foundation primer. This is something I recently rediscovered. I wore this on my wedding day and I just kind of haven't used it ever since and then recently repurchased it. It's the Laura Mercier foundation primer and this is just a regular plain foundation primer and I really noticed a difference in the longevity and the wear of my foundation. It doesn't look like it's caked up at all and it keeps it very seamless and smooth. It doesn't exactly minimize my pores, but it reduces the look of cakiness throughout the day and oil buildup. So this has been a really big favorite this past month. The next thing I'm going to talk about is this L'Oreal Pro Glow Foundation. I know I'm late on the bandwagon whenever it comes to this foundation. This was released probably in the fall of last year. And it wasn't until January is when I really started using this, picked it up and started using this. I mix these two colors, 202 and 205 together to get my perfect shade. Depends on how fresh my self tan is. Like right now I would be 205, but whenever I'm starting to fade or as I remove the tan, I'll be all the way down to 202, which is a really nice neutral base. I really enjoy this foundation. It's honestly so beautiful. I love how light it feels on the skin. The coverage level is like medium. You can build it to full, but I really like just how natural this looks on my skin without looking overly cakey or like it's too much sitting on top of my pores. And even though this is a glowy foundation, I find that it helps control my oil by adding a lot more moisture back into the skin with this foundation. I also find if I ever have any issues with it being excessively oily, just powder it down and I haven't had any issues as far as the longevity with this foundation. I won't say it's anything like my Estee Lauder Double Wear as far as like longevity that foundation will stick on your face forever. But this just kind of gives you, uh, as it says, a really nice glow, a really natural look on the skin. But if you're extremely oily, I would stay away because this might make you a little too dewy throughout the day. Just remember, you can always powder and block this foundation. But as far as like the coverage being there all day, I haven't had any issues. And I really just love the way this looks on the skin. It looks like a high-end foundation without it being the price of a high-end foundation. The next thing, which is drugstore, I was watching a lot of Patrick Star, and I finally picked up this Cody Airspun Loose Face Powder. I got the color Transluc Translucent Extra Coverage. This powder is sort of like a translucent powder that a lot of people here on YouTube use to bake. Personally, whenever I decide to bake with my skin and I use translucent powders, it actually takes away any coverage that I have on my foundation and it almost makes wherever I put the powder darker. So I can't put heavy amounts of powder on my face because something with my skin reacts with the powder and it doesn't matter what powder it is, all of them do it to me. I like to take this and I like to just pat the powder on top and then I'll go over my skin with the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish and I'll kind of just buff that powder in on top of this and my foundation is locked in all day. That's the trick I've been using with the L'Oreal Pro Glow and no joke, like I will keep my foundation on for 12 hours plus whenever I'm working and it's all due to this powder because most of the time that, that foundation will start breaking down to me around the eight hour mark and it makes my foundation locked and loaded. It will not move and it doesn't take away the coverage which is what most translucent powders do for me is that it just it knocks it completely away. It's the weirdest thing. If any of you have ever experienced that, please let me know. I'm not the only weird one out there. Now another item I don't think I've ever mentioned here on my channel before is the Makeup Revolution Ultra Blush Palette. This is in Sugar and Spice. This is an amazing drugstore blush palette. If you are looking to get your hands on some new blushes that are affordable, that are really, really nice, and the quality is really great, this is the one to go for. I've had this for a couple of months. I actually went out and bought it with my best friend. I think she got the same thing with me. Uh, I really love these two shades up here because they're more on the nude neutral side, but then you can add any of the other colors with it. You can go this really bright coral color or this really nice peach. This is a really beautiful like Barbie pink and then this is a really nice like a rustic rose type color. This is gorgeous as well. These colors are so finely milled 
that they never have any patchiness or powderiness whenever I apply them to the cheeks. They don't look like they're sitting on top of my cheekbones. They always look so natural. And you can see like on my hand how flipping pigmented these blushes are. They are so, just the quality of them are so nice. They also included two highlighters up here. This is a really interesting like light pink shade and a really pretty, almost like blush topper type shade. You can also use these as eyeshadows. I like to use this one on my brow bone in my inner corner as a highlight. But this is such a high quality blush palette. I'm surprised not a lot more people are talking about this brand or talking about these blushes because I don't see them used very often, but they are so, so nice. This is nice. Now the next palette you all know that I'm gonna mention. You know, you know, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. This is Juvia's Place, the Saharan palette, and this is so amazing. I recently got it in the beginning of February, and I haven't been able to put it down since. I am wearing all my eyes today. Honestly, the swatches I did in my swatch video did not do this justice because this palette is amazing. Just watch the pigmentation of these shadows. Just watch. Just swatch. Ha, ha, ha. I mean, how amazing is that shimmer? And I used this uh, this greeny gold color in my tutorial that I just did. And I will link that video in the down bar below as well if you haven't seen that. I really love this coral shade. This is just amazing. Let's see if it'll swatch. Look how pigmented that shade is. It's amazing. I'm telling you the swatches I did in the last video, a lot of you commented. And I'm going to try to find like a new swatch sort of technique with my videos. But I really, really am loving this palette. If you don't know already, there are discount codes all over the internet for Juvia's Place. So you can definitely probably look that up. I think Juvia's Place also does like a newsletter sign up discount if you're a first time member or first time customer of theirs. So I would definitely check that out. This palette is $28. And with the shipping and the discount code, I got it for, I think, a total of $30. So, yeah, you just, you can't go wrong with this palette. It is so beautiful. And the more I use it, the more I love it, the more I want to buy all the other palettes. It's coming. I promise I'm going to do it. Next is a lip favorite. And you guys probably already know this is the Jordana Sweet Cream matte liquid lipsticks. These are my absolute favorite. I love the Wet n Wild catsuit uh, liquid lipsticks that they recently come out with, but these are all more wearable shades that I personally enjoy. My favorite of all of them is the Buttercream Frosting. I love wearing this to work. I've got some other people at work even like addicted to these. This is just such a nice, it looks almost like a really pale like white out your lips type of nude, but it really isn't. It just, it has the most prettiest color and it's one of my favorites and I love cinnamon toast, rose macaroon, tiramisu is also another one that is my absolute favorite. I have a swatch video swatching all of these and a try on video if you want to see what they look like and then I also love creme brulee. Creme brulee is probably, it's definitely like almost up there my number one. So the Jordana Sweet Cream Matte Liquid Lipsticks are my absolute favorite of the month and I cannot believe how amazing these are for five the last thing I did want to mention is a hair favorite, and I don't believe I ever mentioned hardly any hair favorites here on my channel, but this is something that I've been using and testing for quite some time. This is the Bombay Hair. This is a clipless iron that you can just take your hair and wrap around it. This comes in a set with four other wands including this one it has a locking mechanism to make sure the barrel doesn't slip off it's also got a really nice long cord and it also cuts off after an hour if you forget to unplug your iron or turn it off I love this thing. It comes in so many different shapes and sizes as far as the barrels. I love the bigger one for bigger, looser, more Victoria's Secret type curls. I haven't ever really used this funky one. I really like this smaller one and this one for a more tapered curl. If you guys want like a hair tutorial using the Bombay hair set, I definitely would love to do it. I believe this is the 5-in-1 set that they have. It also comes with two clips that clip your hair and then it also comes with a glove as well. I bought this person because I was watching Babs Beauty and her hair is always amazing and she recommended this set so I went out and I bought it. There's discount codes everywhere online as well. I will try to include one in the down bar below. I got this set I believe for like $60 a couple of months ago so I'm sure you can probably get the same price for this set but this is amazing. This is the all black barrel as well and I love how the cord just swivels and it doesn't ever get tangled up which 
which is one of my favorite things that I can just sit there and just curl it and then not have to worry about the cord tangling up around whatever I'm using or around the arm or just kind of getting really stuck up on everything. So, so yes, and I believe this, the second smaller barrel is one of my favorite barrels to use for my hair. And I have such long, straight, thick hair. It's so hard to find an iron that keeps my hair curled and keeps it curled all day long. This is the only one that'll keep a curl in my hair because it heats up so much. I believe it goes up to 450 degrees Fahrenheit if I'm remembering correctly. I can do a video all about this iron and a tutorial with it if you guys would like but yeah this is my absolute favorite so that is it guys i hope you guys enjoyed this favorites video it was a long time coming i hope you guys enjoyed it's been a long time coming and remember all the videos and the links will be in the down bar below as well as my social media links i will leave my snapchat and my other stuff here in the video as well if you want to see my other videos make sure to click subscribe and also that bell notification that lets you know when i've got a new video coming out that would really help out my channel a lot Thank you all so much for your support and I will see you guys later. Bye!